Welcome to HelpYourMath.com. Today we're going over the introduction of uh, the central limit theory. But before that, we have to introduce in the sampling distribution. Right, for example, we have the population of 0, 1, and a 2. Right, then, to pick two numbers at a time to form a sample. Right, using that, before we're doing that, right, the Population we are able to calculate out is the population mean and the population variance. Uh, everyone knows how to calculate it. From that uh, population, we have population mean is 1 and the population variance is uh, 2 over 3. Then we can do is uh, form the sampling distribution. Right, sample, sample it first. But we will have uh, nine different samples of uh, size 2. Right from there, we're able to find the sample. Therefore, over there we are forming a distribution of the sample mean. Right from the distribution there, we are able to calculate the, pop, uh, the mean of this uh, distribution and the variance of the distribution. I think, uh, well, you can also find, you know yourself how to find it. Otherwise, you can check our other videos to take a look how to find the mean and the variance. Just give the result. The mean notation is a little different. That is the mean of the sample mean. So we have a subscript of x bar. And the variance of the sample mean also will be able to be calculated out using whichever formula. What in generally true is that from the population we pick the sampling distribution, then we're able to form the sample mean. The, they have relationship. We have the sampling distribution, sample mean, have a mean of uh, equal to population mean we had. And the variance of the sample means is equal to the variance of the original population divided by the size we have. In this case, we have two here as the sample size. And in general, we just divide it by the size of the uh, distribution. And uh, hence, if we have sample standard, if we have standard deviation of the sample mean will be just the population standard deviation divided by square roots of uh, radical n, right, the square root of the n, as uh, the standard deviation of the sample mean. Right. Then the central limit theorem says that uh, for simple random sample of size uh, n, right, the sampling distribution of the sample mean follows normal distribution of the uh, mean is uh, population mean, the standard deviation will be standard deviation, which is from the sampling distribution of size n with some condition. Right. Some conditions is uh, if population is normal, right, 
But if the original population is no more than when we do the sampling distribution, no matter which size we take, that uh, the sample mean have a distribution of normal distribution as well. Right? That is the first condition. Or if we don't know the population is normal, but if our sampling distribution has a large enough size, in some textbooks say uh, size is greater than 30, then uh, the x bar will follow the distribution or can be approximated to the normal distribution. That is the idea of central limitation.